Hi, this is another lecture on Fourier series, and this is on complex Fourier series. Again, this will just be the theory behind it, and I will link to an example when I do one, because on the whiteboard uh, I can't really be as prepared as I am with the presentations on the projector. Right, now for a complex Fourier series, uh, this involves Euler's, which is from vectors, that e to the i nx equals cosine nx plus i sine nx. Uh, this is just yeah complex numbers, that's why it's complex Fourier series. So, uh, in order to solve something complexly, I don't know what the term is, uh, then we're given this new function, not our normal f of t, given this n uh, minus infinity to infinity of c n e to the i n x. Now this this is our new function which will give us our new Fourier, our complex Fourier series compared to our normal Fourier series. Uh, and the only thing we need to really know is what c n is, and c n is one over two pi. Uh, and this this is assuming. Uh, our f of x is actually between minus pi and pi. Uh, if it's got other limits, you just change them there. Uh, times e to the minus i n x dx. Yeah? So that's, uh, and this, uh, you solve that, put it in there, and you'll be left with your answer. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, oh, uh, there is a relation between normal Fourier series and this complex Fourier series. Uh, you can save a bit of time if you can remember these in the exam, because uh, otherwise these questions can be very long with all these uh, integrating by parts and everything like that. So if in our normal Fourier series we have our a n, and this is equal to uh, c n, plus C, uh, C minus N. Now the difference here is you just change the N in your CN. You just do everything negative. And our BN is again just the same. Just think of them as like cosine and sine. Like, the, like they actually are, aren't they? In the Fourier series. Um, CN minus C minus N. Yeah? And this will give you, and so that you can find a link between the Fourier series and the complex Fourier series if you were asked to do both for one question. And I'll link to an example when I do one.